Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. So we finished exploring the final island here. And I think we were told to meet up at Vendor Street. To discuss what we found. Wow, <laughs> not a lot of people. All right, looks like everyone's here. Can you imagine the entire 14-person class trying to fit in this little area? That would be madness. Huh? What about Nagito? Huh? Who cares? Not like he's our friend or anything. Like... I couldn't get in touch with him. I don't know where the heck he is or what he's doing. Now then. So how'd it go? Did you learn anything about the Future Foundation? Hmm... Not really. Like, I feel like I learned stuff, but... I also feel like I didn't learn anything. It's not clear which information we found is believable, if any. However... I believe there is no question that the Future Foundation is behind everything that has been going on. Well... Are we sure about that? Huh? Huh? What are you saying? If they're not our enemy, then what are they? If they are our ally, there's no way they'd trap us on this island. Well, yeah. That's true, but... There's something I've been thinking about. Hey! Monami works for the Future Foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted it by this point. But even though Monokuma is forcing us to kill each other, Monami has been opposing him. Huh? You mean... pretending to oppose him, right? Yeah, good cop, bad cop. What's wrong? No, I don't think she's pretending. They clearly hate each other. <laughs> then it's possible that the enemy of our enemy is actually an ally. Because she opposes Monokuma, you think she's our ally? Please wait! Even if they both oppose one another, is it not possible that they are both our enemy? I'm starting to get pumped up! Like a three-way battle. That's kind of hot. Hey! Why, after all this time, are you suddenly backing up the Future Foundation? Whoa! You talking like that because you're actually the traitor who's working for them? Damn it. Don't be an idiot. I won't be fooled! No way, you're clearly suspicious. I mean, if you don't... Settle down! Kazuichi Soda, shut up! <laughs> yes! Listen! There never was a traitor. Monokuma lied to us. Oh my... Lied? Well? It is simply a false entity that Monokuma made up so we would be suspicious of each other. You insolent fool! How can you not believe in your friends after everything we have endured together? <sighs> Weak. How weak. Man. Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you're desperately trying to run away. Such despair. That weakness is hopeless. Nagito. All right, so let's talk to everybody then. Hey, hey. Also, once again, I am uh, using my 3D printer. So if it's making a lot of noise, sorry, <laughs> but uh, it's in the middle of a couple hours of something, so I couldn't really stop it. Nagito, what's he planning this time? Well... Very suspicious! I like Minimaru. It cannot be! It's a good addition to the team. What Nagito just said... Please wait! Is he implying that belie believing in each other is a weakness? That is absurd! Nagito's a pain in the butt, but is there anything we can do about Kazuichi's idi idiot idiot about him being an idiot? He doubts everyone so easily and never apologizes for it. Well, I guess I'm used to it. Hmm. The timing of his arrival seems planned. It seems like he might have been watching our actions. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so there you are, Nagito. We didn't invite you here, you annoying guy. Nagito, where have you been this whole time? Jeez. I wonder where your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you guys just keep running around in circles. What are you, hamsters? <laughs> too soon, Nagito, too soon. If I compare you guys to hamsters, 
Well, I get yelled at by that weakling you dropped out. That is... What is that? Now then. You asked where I've been this whole time, right? Well... Well, I was in the middle of looking for someone. Looking for someone? <sighs> I thought that person might have already arrived, but... I guess I was wrong. <laughs> or maybe... That person is hiding in a secret location and carefully watching us. Hey, you... what are you talking about? Are you saying there's someone else on this island besides us? <laughs> it's probably the survivor of the killing school life. Huh? How about it? If so, a lot of things might start adding up, don't you think? Are you talking about Togami? He's the survivor you're talking about, right? What? Oh, I see. You guys have only reached that stage. You... Talentless fools. What stage? You're not making sense at all. Not making sense? Not at all. Jeez. But still, if you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. Why would Togami, the survivor of the killing school life, die in vain like he did at the very beginning? Right? Don't you think it's strange? Huh? What does that mean? That is an order! The issue is not with what he means. Please take back what you said about Togami dying in vain. That's right! Yeah, listen to Miss Sonya. Well? You have been acting very strange lately. I do not like this version of Nagito we have been witness to. Huh. I don't like you either. Well, I never liked you in the first place. This is troubling. Oh, looks like I'm being hated. Well, that's understandable. There's no way you guys can even comprehend my suffering. Well, Knowing the truth can be pretty painful in its own way. The truth? What truth? What do you know? <laughs> Curious, are you? But why don't I tell you guys that after I found out who the traitor is? Huh? Actually... To tell you the truth, I still haven't figured out who the traitor is. <laughs> but it won't take me very long! You guys don't have to worry. I'll weed out the traitor, even if it cost me my life. What? You're going to weed out the traitor? Please wait! As I have already said, there is no traitor. <laughs> I'll bet in the end you're just going to raise your hand and go, I'm actually the traitor, right? <laughs> you're a funny guy, Kazuichi. But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? If I'm able to wipe out all the despair on this island, will I? This is exciting! Will I become the ultimate hope? Ultimate hope? You... What the heck are you talking about? Have you finally lost your mind? Now then. I should get going, but if you see Monokuma again, there's something I want you to tell him. Tell him he doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. Huh? <laughs> tell him not to worry because I'm planning to go all out. Besides, the next one will probably be the last. Could it be? Nagito, what does that mean? Bye now. Nagito ignored Chiaki's question and left us. We were powerless to stop him. It was clear to us that trying to stop him would just be useless. Hey, hey. I don't want to think about it, but could he be planning a kill? Are you kidding me? A uh, kill? Who? Who's he gonna kill? Damn it! Based on how he was talking, looks like his target is the traitor. Please wait! There is no such person. I mean, the notion that one of us has been deceiving us all along. I will never, ever believe that. Like Sonya said, I can't believe it either. I don't think any of us could do that. But what if it's Nagito? Or what if whoever it is has forgotten about it? What if the traitor has forgotten that they're the traitor? Just like how I forgot that I don't have a talent. Uh. Well, regardless of who he's targeting, there's a high chance he's planning to kill, right? That's right! Then we gotta tie him up again! Forcing him to stop is the only way! It is impossible. Nekumaru is not even here anymore. I'll show you my serious side. <laughs> I've got what it takes to deal with someone as weak as him. 
I'm here too. <laughs> <laughs> then that's a yes, right? Just leave it to me. Once I come up with a plan, we'll meet up again. Tie up Nagito, huh? Kazuichi is right. It's dangerous to let Nagito wander freely. If we're being cautious, we have to act fast. But what is this indescribable anxiousness I'm feeling? I hope it just means I'm thinking too much. For the time being, we decided to finish our exploration of the final island and return to the hotel. It was already dark by the time we returned to the hotel. And it's spooky. It's been a while since we've been back here, hasn't it? Which one are we in? Oh, we're in the first one. Especially if you consider that more than half of these places are vacant because of the uh, people that were in them are dead now. Oh, look at that Monokuma collection. For some reason, I'm really tired today. Well, since I walked around all day today, I was able to obtain several clues. Although I'm not really certain if you can even call these clues. Instead, I feel like we're just suffering from more mysteries that don't make sense. This isn't good. As soon as nighttime hits, I can't stop thinking all these pessimistic thoughts. This might be a bad habit of mine. I should just get some sleep for today, rest my mind for a while, and then I'll give this some more thought tomorrow. Words are extremely dangerous. Unlike letters, words cannot be undone with erasers or with a backspace. That's why you need to be extremely careful. Same goes for me. There was a time in my past when I went through a lot of trouble because of that. That's right, when I was being trained at the safari park. At the time, there were two animals at that park that I got along with. One was a squirrel named Doc, named Sir Di Dietrich, and the other was a fox named Cha Cha Jr. To be honest, Cha Cha Jr. was really stupid. If a female employee tried to have a serious talk with him, he just stared at her boobs the whole time. That's why Senior Dietrich would order him to steal panties. And that idiot would get real happy when he exchanged the panties he stole for Dietrich's old undies. Also, this one time... The three of us went to a steakhouse and the waiter asked, How would you like it cooked? Chacha Jr. proudly said, With fire! Uh, Senior Dietrich was pretty care crafty. He knew how to play Chacha Jr. He made Chacha Jr. abduct a fawn and drowned it. Then he saved that drowning fawn himself. And he made Chacha Jr. tell everyone about it. And he really did some shady things. Anyway, the three of us were getting along together. We were living a fun life in the safari park. That's right! Till the day I ended up saying those words. I accidentally said this to Cha Cha Jr. Foxes are squirrels' natural enemies. The next day I stumbled across what was left of Dietrich Treat Sr. He had been eaten! Good thing I immediately tattled to a male employee so he could put down Cha Cha Jr. with a hunting rifle. Even now, I regret saying what I said back then. What the hell? Geez, squirrels have it rough. They have so many natural enemies. What did that have to do with the steak? <laughs> the, the restaurant. Okay, then. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! We haven't heard the announcement in a while, have we? Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! I'm pretty sure everyone's starting to meet up. For now, I should head over to the restaurant.
it is kind of sad. I'm starting to realize just how much how much space there is here and how many people there aren't. <laughs> Ah, back to playing video games. Or sleeping. Yeah. Hey, Chiaki. Hey, Chiaki. I, I wasn't sleeping. Yes, you were. Totally not sleeping. I was playing a game. You were sleeping while you were playing a game? It's always time for gaming. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, you look more tired than usual. Um, Last night, I had a weird dream that woke me up in the middle of the night. So maybe that's why. A weird dream? Well? It was a Monokuma puzzle game. It was like one of those tile falling games where you make falling Monokuma disappear by creating a chain. Hmm. But no matter how much I played, I just couldn't beat it, and Monokumas just fell endlessly. Why did I have a dream like that? It's probably because we saw that factory where those Monokuma goods are made. Daganronpa 2, where best Monokumas are made. Check it out, I'm already eating! As usual, you're eating a lot. Well, we might get locked in a place like the fun house again. So I gotta eat when I can. Eat well! Shit well! <laughs> Who put that line into him? <laughs> For now. Good job, Kazuichi. Okay, now that we've finished our breakfast, let's jump right into the main topic. Um, I am still um, eating here. Um, I just got here. I haven't had a chance to eat anything yet. It's okay. I'm pretty much done eating. You selfish little... You know... Right? And of course the main topic is about... Our plan to capture Nagito that we're supposed to carry out today. It cannot be. Are you really going to do it? Of course. I spent all night coming up with this little plan. <laughs> that means I haven't slept for two days straight. Don't you think my effort should count for something? Hey, bastard. We get it. Hurry up and spill that plan of yours already. Hmm. You know, I didn't really realize how selfish she was until towards the, you know, towards recently where Kazuichi's just gotten more and more selfish. Well, I thought of several plans, but in the end, I figured that a straightforward plan would be the best. Uh. One of us will be the decoy who lures Nagito into the lobby by telling him we need to talk to him there. And then, at the best possible moment, the two task force members will move in and swiftly, swiftly capture Nagito. All right. So that's the plan. What do you think? Um, it's easy um, to understand, so I'm cool with it. Anywhere are there any bananas left? You. So now, I will present each of you with your role. Of course. Since it's my plan, I'll take the role of commander. I won't let anyone object to that. Hey, hey. But Commander sounds like the most fun. Hey! Hey, didn't I just say I won't let anyone object? Right. Next, I'll present the two task force members. These big roles go to you two, Fuyuhiko and Akane. Um, yep, sure um, thing. Jeez. Got no pathetic. choice. You know, right? And the person burdened with the core of this plan, the decoy who has to lure Nagito, I'll give that role. Chiaki, not a me. No way. What did you just say? So... I mean, it's not like I ever agreed to this plan. Hey, hey! It's gonna be fine. It's not like you're gonna tie him up. You're just gonna lure him. Well... Besides, there's no way I'd ask Miss Sonya to take on such a dangerous role, you know? So please, I'm begging you. Hey, hey! What a rude way to ask for help. If my hero was here, she would have beaten you up. You. Good thing she's not. <laughs> I mean, you did say earlier that you definitely can't accept killing. <laughs> Isn't that right? I need your help to stop another killing. Hey! And didn't you just say, didn't I just say I'm begging you? Why are you snapping at her all of a sudden? Oh. 
Fine. All right. You're gonna do it? All right, then this lineup is perfect. Hey, Sonya and I haven't been given roles. What should we do? <laughs> Sonya has the role of princess. That doesn't make any sense. For now. And you're on shore duty. I want you to supply the rope we need to tie up Nagito. Bow down. Denied. Whoa. Why? Listen. If Hajime has nothing to do anyway, he shall accompany me. Miss Sonia? No, like I said, he needs to supply the rope. You must not. This is not a request. This is an order. That is an order. An order, I tell you. There's somewhere I must go. Ah. Fine. Hajime and Miss Sonia are free. It's fine. I'll leave that matter to your discretion. Good. Repeat that. Damn it. If Hajime and Miss Sonia are free, it's fine. To object so forcefully. Where do you need to go, Sonia? Um. I shall tell you in due time. We will be discovered if I speak too loudly. What did you say? You're gonna be alone with Hajime? At a secret place? Uh, for now. Damn it! We'll carry out the plan tonight. All of you, make sure you prepare your bodies and minds. Huh? Is our commander going to be okay? His energy seems to have dropped pretty drastically. Let's all disperse for now. <laughs> now then, please come to the hotel lobby in 30 minutes. Yeah, sure thing. After our planning meeting had ended, I quickly finished eating my breakfast. By the time I had made it back to my cottage, I, it was already close to the time I agreed to meet Miss Sonya. Alright, let's go. Does she have some cool secret to tell us about? Oh boy. It's happening. I was about to say, it is kind of making me really sad to not see people standing around anymore. So I'm, I'm glad that at least she's out here. Very refreshing deep food by the pool. She's still eating. Oh, look, we got some more friends over here. What are you doing, Monami? I won't forgive you. You can't. Your teacher can't allow this plan. Oh, suck it. We're doing it anyway. Ah, uh -huh. oh, shut up, you useless rabbit. You can't. I won't be quiet. I cannot accept this plan. Hey, what happened? Man. Oh, that Monami apparently heard about her plan. I won't forgive you. You can't. Your teacher can't allow this plan. Shut up. Shut up. It's not like we want to do this. We're just doing it because Nagito's dangerous. That's right. He's planning to kill someone. This is just self-defense. I... But I still can't ignore it. I can't allow my students to fight amongst themselves. Love, love. <laughs> ah, shut up, you useless rabbit. Looks like they're talking in circles. It might be better if I just leave them alone. If they keep shouting like that... I'm pretty sure Nagito might overhear them. Yeah, I have a feeling that Nagito may have already overheard us, because we were talking pretty loudly up there in the restaurant. In a usual meeting spot for everyone. Um. Hajime, you are late. Huh? I'm right on time. Wait, should I have come a little earlier? A little earlier? In my country, you are severely punished if you do not arrive 13 minutes before an arranged meeting time. For such an orderly country, 13 minutes is a pretty arbitrary rule. That is... Oh, I see. This is culture shock. Then I guess that can be overlooked. So where are you planning to go? I just have to come along, right? Well... Of course. It is a place that pertains to this discovery we made yesterday. Jabberwock Island Development Plan? Did you find out something about it? Um... How should I say this? 
After reading this document over and over again, I suddenly realized the Future Foundation was planning to rebuild a facility on this island to use as their headquarters. You're talking about the large administrative building on the central island, right? But I couldn't find a building like that anywhere. Maybe they said something about a different island. Do you have a minute? Or what if their plan suddenly changed and they had to use a different facility? A different facility? Well? Was there not a facility on this island inscribed with the symbol of the Future Foundation? Um... As I recall, the ancient ruin on the second island had such a, had such a symbol on its door. Yeah, you're right. The Japanese word for future, Mirai, was inscribed there. If that's the case, that ruin might be connected to the future foundation, right? However... The discrepancies in the document are strange, but there's no doubt that the ruin is quite suspicious. You're right. I've completely forgotten about it after being locked inside the funhouse, but... The possibility that the ancient ruin is connected to the future foundation is incredibly high. I knew there was something strange about that place. Sonya, after hearing all this, I want to go there as much as you do. I'll definitely come with you. <laughs> then I may not be competent, so please be patient with me. Alright, so I guess we're just going to, what was that, Island 2? I think. I can't actually remember. We'll find out. Oh, it's Chiaki. Hey, hey. Hey, what exactly does Kazuichi do as a commander? How should I know? Well... In games, commanders are usually flags. Flags? Um... If you defeat the commander, no matter how many units are left, you still secure a victory. Even damaging the commander is enough to decrease the opponent's morale. As far as plans go, it's a pretty standard tactic. I'll leave that matter to your discretion. Wonderful. That plan is my seal of approval. Continue to target the commander. You're totally mistaking who's to fight. What's the point of targeting Kazuichi? That is... You are right. What a shame. Shame? If Kazuichi heard that his rapidly diminishing enthusiasm might plummet into the negatives. I don't know why, but I'm starting to feel sorry for that guy. I think he just happened to chase the wrong girl here. Though, have you noticed that, uh... She started out okay, but she either seems either more ditzy or more annoyed with Kazuichi now? Maybe that's just me. But she seems to legitimately, like, not like him. I see, I see. At the ancient ruins on the second island, the word Mirai, or future, was inscribed on the door. The discrepancies in the document are strange, but there's no doubt that ruin is quite suspicious. So yeah, it is the second island. Uh. No matter how many times I see this place, it certainly gives me the willies. However... Well, we should not dwell on that. After all, we are here to look for clues. That's right. There's no doubt we'll find something something here. All right, let's start. We're going to look at the door again. Um there's no mistaking it. The Japanese word for future is inscribed on the door. But this facility, now that I have taken a better look at it, it cannot be. It bears an uncanny resemblance to Hope Speak Academy. Why is that? Now that I'm taking a closer look at it, the door looks even stranger. For a building that looks pretty run down and shabby, this door looks very high-tech. Future, huh? Is 
Is this, are we supposed to look at something different? The liquid crystal display next to the door. That's probably it. This is probably the key. The door will probably open if we input the correct numbers. Please wait. We have discussed this before as well, but it would be dangerous to test it haphazardly. Well? If we make a mistake, it is possible that we will be fired upon by that gun. I can think of no other reason for that gun to be there. As long as that's a possibility, it'd be bad if we acted recklessly. I am concerned. That is right. Courage and recklessness are completely different. If you were shot at by a gun like that, you would have more holes in you than a, than, than a Beatrice's nest. You mean a bee's nest? Yeah, you are wrong. In my country, we use the expression Beatrice's nest. Anyway, right now, we definitely shouldn't test it out so recklessly. I see. In I order see. to open this door, we must find the password first. Or destroy the door with some kind of explosive force. Now nah, that's impossible. This door looks extremely sturdy. It's definitely better if we find out the password instead. All right, all we have to do next is find out what that password is. It's a good thing we came here so we could at least find that out. You are right. But the problem is, where would we obtain that password? When we first came here, even Monokuma and Monami said they didn't know the password. If they really don't know it, how are we supposed to find out? As usual, it's a mystery, huh? After finishing our investigation of the ancient ruin, Sonya and I decided to go back to her cottages for now. Did we discover absolutely anything from that? We, like, none. Nothing. We knew all this before. It's still the middle of the day. Looks like I have some free time. Now then, what should I do? Uh, we'll do that free time next time. Um, anybody got any good people for us to look into? I'll do, I can do that next time. Um, if anyone knows anybody with a good conversation. Anyway, we're going to stop off for there and uh, we'll do free time next time. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.